In this lecture, let's learn about a new array method in JavaScript which was introduced in ES 2022 and that is the at method. The at method in JavaScript returns an element from an array at a given index. Let's understand this practically. Here we have this points array. Now if we want to get an element from this points array at a specific index, on this points array we will use indexing, right? So let's say I want to get an element at index 2. So for that, we can use indexing like this. And this will return us the element at this index. And if I go ahead and log it in the console, you will see that the element at this index 2 from this points array will be logged in the console. Okay, so you can see 63 has been logged here in the console. Now we can achieve this same thing using at method. So let's say console.log and here on this points array, let's call at method. And to this, we need to pass an index. So again, let's pass two. And this time also, we should get 63. So here you can see 63 has been returned. So earlier, in order to get an element from an array, we were using indexing like this. But now with the introduction of this at method, we can use this method and we can pass an index from where we want to get the element. Okay, so this is the use of at method. We can also use at method on a string value. So let's go ahead and let's create a string. Let's call it str. And here let's say maybe welcome. Okay, and now on this string, let's call this at method. So welcome and oh, I'm sorry, the variable name is str dot and on this let's call at method. And here let's again pass an index. So let's pass three. So here this at method will return the character at index three. That means the four character fourth character from this string. And the character index three is this lowercase c. So that should be returned by this at method. And as you can see, C has been logged here in the console. Now, let's say we want to get the last element from an array and we don't know the length of that array. In order to do that, earlier we had to do something like this. So let's first write this console.log statement and let's say we want to get the last element from this points array. Okay, so we will say points and for the index, we will use the length property on these points. So points dot length. And since the array is zero based index from this length, we can subtract minus one. And this should return us the element at the last index. So if I save the changes in this example, it should run 36, which is the last element and it has returned that. Or what we can do is we can call slice method on the array. So on this points array, we can call slice method and to this we can pass minus one now this slice method will return a new array and that new array contain that new array will contain only the last element from this points array right so if i go ahead and log it in the console you will notice that this slice method has returned an array and that array contains the last element from this points array but now what we can do is we can use at method to achieve the same thing. So on this point array, let's call this at method and to this let's pass minus one. So when we are passing minus one here, this at method will return the last element from this point array. So let's go ahead and log it in the console. And let's save the changes. And here you can see it has returned the last element from the array when we are passing a when we are passing minus one. Okay. So when we pass a negative argument to this at method, it returns an element from the right hand side. So from the back side, if I pass minus two, in that case, it will return the second last element. Okay. So here you can see the second last element has been returned by this at method. Similarly, if I pass minus three, it will return the third last element from the array, which is 63. Okay. So this is the new at method in JavaScript introduced in ES 2022. 
this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day